Hey, hey, you guys. I am, I'm hoping I'm in the right place. If you guys could do me a huge favor and just say, hey, how you doing? And let me know that you see me. Um, I'm hoping that I'm on the YouTube channel as well as the Facebook page. Oh, Lord, I turned the AC off for y'all today. We're going to see how long I can make it without it running. Um, but, hello, hello. Hey, Shannon. Hi, you guys. My name is Royce Hunt Bell, owner of Royce Cycled Treasures. Welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, my page and to my YouTube channel. So today, um, hey, Deborah. Hey, Doris. I am super excited. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Barb. Um, and a little nervous today, a little bit, um, to share with you guys. Hey, Cynthia. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hey, Esther. Um, thank you guys so much for hopping on. I'm not seeing any remarks from YouTube. I hope I'm streaming there too, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll take care of whatever tech stuff later. But I wanted to hop on and, hey, Esther, I'm in Safford, Arizona, girl. And um, share with you guys the new product line that I am launching today, like literally today, right now, today. And those are for those of you who are recycled insiders, you guys have already gotten a peek at what we're gonna do today. But not everybody has. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Jane. Hey, friend. I'm assuming that's Miss Sherry. It says front room on seventh, but I know who that is. So, you guys, today. We are going to, um, I'm going to share with you guys a new product from Roy Cycle Treasures. Um, it is something that I've been talking about. Hey, Miss Lori. Hey, Cynthia. That I have been talking about. Oh, there is some red. Good job. Um, hey, Teresa. Is it Janine? I hope it's Janine. Hey, hey. Um, that I've been talking about for a while that I wanted to do. Um, but for those of you who've been with me for a while, you guys are, you guys know that I'm like committed to domestic production. Um, I know Maureen, I am too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Um, Pamela. Hey, Sunny. Oh my gosh, Sunny. You really inspired me yesterday. You should see all of the posh talk I have out here right now that we'll be using. Um, so just, I'm trying to just, I don't know. You guys know that I am like committed to producing domestically. So it doesn't, it's not always easy. It's not always easy. Um, but I have found someone to make these for me and I believe it is a really good partnership. And so I'm super excited to talk to you guys about the new edition. And so my hope is that this product will become, um, uh, another tool that you guys can have in your toolbox. The cool thing about this is that, um, oh my gosh, Edie, that was such a hot mess. I don't have my ring light tonight because I forgot it's in the car because we went live in the motel room. So I hope that the lighting is okay, you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the product is. And then we're going to, so I'm going to show you guys what the product is. I'm going to talk about and show you guys some, um, like possibilities for the product. And then I am going to, um, hopefully, we'll see, we'll have time to like do a project together, right? Um, because this line is not, I mean, it's different in that uh, we kind of thought of a different way to use something that a lot of us have been using for a long time. Hey, Gina from Alaska. So I'll go through and show you guys. First, I'll show you guys what it is, um, we have a new line of recycled stencils, you guys. I am so excited. So, I don't have my tape measure. Oh, I do have my tape measure. Let me get it, because I know you guys like for me to do this. Um, but the stencils, let me put you down. I'm gonna put you guys down this way. So, the stencils are 12 inch by 12 inch. So they're a good size stencil. So they're 12 by 12 is the size of them. And so it's not a small stencil and they're perfect for home decor. So this one is my favorite one. And this is what it'll look like when you guys get them from your retailer. Um, but I wanted to go through each of the stencils individually. And yes, my, my, my bushel is just ridiculously dirty um, because <laughs> I've been playing with it. <laughs> 
So this is the bushel stencil, you guys. I'll go through and show you guys all the stencils. I'm trying to see where my camera is. Okay, I'll go through and show you guys all of the stencils and then um, let me do a little bit of an adjustment. And then um, we'll go through and we'll look and play after we're done. And so this is the bushel stencil, you guys. And this is so perfect. Wait till I show you guys what you guys can do with these. It's so fun. I forgot to load pictures. Um, but that's the first one. And this one's called the bushel. And the actual bushel, oh, I'll measure for you. The top is 11 inches and the bottom is 7 inches. So the stencil square is 12 by 12. But the actual stencil, this one is 10 and a half inches tall. So even though it's 12 by 12, the actual stencil is still a really good time. Who to guess? The one with the molds, with the moth is your favorite. I know, Sherry. I know. Um, and so this is the bushel. So this is the first one. I should probably show you guys a clean side, huh? Anyways, I'm sorry. I was using it a lot last night and I used Posh on it and I didn't wash it right away. So that may be the way it looks forever now. And then um, the second one is my favorite. Um, and it is the cloche, you guys. Let me see. I may have to open that other one to show you guys a clean one. You guys can see that, right? So this is a cloche and this is so fun. Now you guys have a death moth and a, and a crown inside of your cloche that you can use separately, you know, for other projects, but you can use the cloche and you guys can put all kinds of stuff inside of here. And we're gonna kind of go over some ideas together in just a little bit, but I'm just running through the actual stencils. I forgot my pixie spray in the house. I knew I forgot something. Um, and this is, this one is an urn, you guys. This one is so fun. I'm gonna put it this way so you can see. Um, the urn is so fun because I just really went back and forth. Apparently there are rules when you're making stencils about what you can cut out and what you can't. <laughs> And I am sure that I drove my manufacturer crazy, but I really wanted my stencils to have a lot of detail. And so this is the urn. Um, and we're going to actually look at the actual stencils in a little bit. We're going to stencil together and we're going to take a look at them. Um, right. Oh, and I didn't measure. Let me measure this for you. So the stencil is 12 by 12. The urn is about 10 and a half inches wide at the widest point, right? And it is like nine and a quarter inch um, tall. And the cool thing about this urn is that you can actually, we have it scaled so that you can put your, um, you can actually stack your, um, your cloche on top of your urn. And so you can stack this on top. You can have greenery coming out and then you can put stuff inside of your cloche. Super cute. And what if you're making a project and you didn't have room for like the whole urn, but you wanted your cloche to have a base? Well, you could just use this part of the urn for a base. Or if you just wanted a plate, you could even just use the top of your urn um, and, and put your cloche on top of there. Um, just so that your cloche had like a base on it. And so these are all like meant to be used um, in specific ways. Um, I should open this one so you guys can see a clean one. You guys can see though, right? I'm sorry, this is my favorite one is the cloche. And then, um, so these are the three. Now, these three were in production already, and I had another idea. So I'm gonna show you guys my test stencil, which isn't like 100% right, because I did send back to make a couple of tweaks, but I'm gonna share with you guys anyways. This is the Globe stencil. Um, and I am like so excited about the globe. I called it a snow globe initially, but when I shared it with my retailers, some were calling it a moon globe, some were calling it like a um, fortune teller, crystal ball. Um, some said it looked like um, there was something else. Anyways, the whole point is that um, it's not just a snow globe, right? It's only a matter of what your um, imagination says it is. That's what it is. And so um, the snow globe or the globe stands 11 inches tall 
And then let's see, the globe at its widest point is almost nine inches wide. And then your base is about eight inches wide. And this space right here is perfect for you to even be able to stamp like somebody's name or a city, right? You can stamp in there, super fun. And we also made, okay, so before I go on to that, and the base of the globe is also scaled for your clothes to sit right in that. So if you wanted your clothes to have more of like a standard base like this one, then you could do that as well. That would be an option as well. And we made like a complimentary, a space helmet. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Somebody did say a space helmet. It could be like a space helmet, absolutely. Um, somebody, um, so we also made this one. It's called Winter, this one is. And this one can go with your snow globe. And so this portion here is like, would be like the snow in your globe. And if you did not wanna have snow in your globe, you could just take this portion off, right? And then you would just have your globe and then you'd have the base. But if you had snow, you could sit this house and it would fit perfectly um, on your snow here. Can you guys, oh yeah, you can see that. So you can have this in your globe. You can have your Mr. Snowman inside of your globe. Um, yeah, they do work together. I think that's what makes it fun. So this is a joint venture with Lexi Grenzer and I, and the two of us together are kind of dangerous. This one is so cute. It's a couple of deer um, and some Christmas trees. You guys see that? Um, and so you can put those in there and then just some kind of like snowflakes, right? Just for you to layer on top of there or just to layer on your project if you want it. So when Lexi and I did these, we really wanted these um, to be interchangeable. We wanted them to be a larger scale to, to make home decor or even furniture. And we wanted them to work with a lot of the... Um, the craft supplies that you guys already have in your stash or things that you guys are already buying. So these are 10 mil stencils and they are reusable. So like once you have this tool in your toolkit, like you have this tool, right? You can keep using it over and over again. So those are the individual stencils. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do first. You guys should see the plethora of stuff I have over here because I'm so excited. I couldn't make up my mind about what I wanted to do. Just a hot mess, y'all. A red hot mess. <laughs> hey, Christy from Michigan. So I am going to, let's start off with, we'll start off with the pail. Let's start off with the pail or the bucket. And, um... I'm gonna show you guys some, I, I was doing some playing late night last night. Don't tell David I was crafting in the house, you guys. Thank you, Cheryl, thank you. I am just, you guys, I have ideas and generally my ideas are pretty high level. And I was thinking about this when I was getting ready to come out here today. Um, but I really don't have time to play very much because I'm always working. But I know that if I introduce something fabulous, that you guys are gonna do like really, really cool stuff with it. And so I am insanely excited to see um, what you guys do with this. So I wanted to talk to you guys about like options, right, to do with this. Could you stencil this and paint it? Absolutely, you could absolutely do that. And we've had, a lot of you saw the photos from um, our retreat and a lot of the ladies use these. So for the bushel, I went through last night and I just played with some recycled decoupage paper. So this is a chippy wood decoupage paper. Like how fabulous would that be to have your project start off with a chippy wood pail or a chippy wood, um, uh, como se dice, uh, bushel, right? because now I can color coordinate and I could layer in transfers or I could layer in stamps or even other decoupage papers like to go and to put to put in here, right? So this would be super fun. And um, we're gonna do this together so I can show you guys, I mean, super easy, super quick, um, how I did this. And I can still decoupage this. So like for me, if I were doing a project, I would probably decoupage up to like here 
And then you guys know I'm visual, like I'm visual and I'm tactile and I have to work things out. And so I would be able to lay out my transfers and figure out where I wanted them to go. And then I could come in and I could either have like a bunch of flowers coming out of here or um, whatever. Or I could even have like, I don't know, I could have a lot of different things that are coming out of my bushel, right? So that's one. And then this one was super fun. I just did this one over, um, I believe it was, what's the typewriter paper? That's a shame, I don't know the name of my own papers. This was one of the crate papers. Um, and I just did it, I did it sideways so that the grain would be going up. But I just think that looks so cool because now it looks like it's a wood bucket. Not like chippy wood bucket, but just like, you know, a wood bucket. So fun, right? And again, I can take this now and I can put whatever I want um, putting out, coming out of the top of my bucket. I was going to decoupage these down last night and then I changed my mind in case you guys are wondering why I have like multiple stacks of wood. Um, underwood, thank you. Underwood crate. Oh yeah, Teresa, apples would be super fun. And so this one I actually used, let me see, I cut this out after I did it. Now I got to remember how it goes in there. Okay, so this one, I use the rivets. How fun is that? And it's so funny because inside of the, our retailer's group, Carmen um, from Carmen's Curiosity Shop, she did the same thing with the same paper. But how awesome would this, um, how awesome would this be? Because now I have this metal bucket, right, with rivets and everything. And so I could do something completely steampunk. And so what you do really depends on your own aesthetic. And so I just cut this out just to show that I could, you know, um, make my bucket even open to make it easier for me visually to be able to uh, fill this up. Yeah, Shannon, I'm going to show you guys some samples of some finished projects um, as soon as we get done going over these. So you guys can see like some of the options that our design team has come up with. And so um, those are all the ones that I had for the um, for the bushel. Now the next one, and I think this one has been the most popular so far with the retailers. Um, and I think that, oh Lord, um, it'll probably be super popular with, with you guys too. So this one is, I can probably show you now on here better since I have gold paint all over it, um, is the urn, right? And you guys see like the detail in there, the, I mean, I just, I love this urn so much. Um, yeah, you know what? Thank you, Lisa. Any, if I have any retailers who are on today who have or either either have them in their hands or have them on the way, if you guys could put your link on there, please, that would be awesome. And so I did a few things with the urn. Um, I thought that it would be really cool to use like a metallic color with this. And so this is um, old gold from Posh Chalk, but I put it over the um, patina paper. Like how fabulous is that, right? So you have this gold, but you also have like this texture from the patina on the paper coming through too. This one I think is my favorite. I only had a little piece of patina paper because I don't have a lot. So I just, I'm just gonna have my little urn go off edge a little bit and no one will be none the wiser. So if you have scraps too, you guys, larger scraps, this would, these are like really cool projects to use um, with these scraps. And then, um, I also did one, let me show you. On this one, instead of using paint, I used ink. Um, and because I wanted the texture to show through where it would be solid, um, and I like this one, it's pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. But when I did the one with the opaque paint, I liked it even better. And so this one is over the textures recycled decoupage paper. But look at that, like that yummy texture is still coming through even though this paint is opaque. Um, you, you can still see all the yummy texture. Now, if you don't like texture, you can absolutely just use these stencils and we're gonna use them together right now. Um, 
but I just wanted to show you guys, like when we were thinking about it, we were thinking about making them as versatile as possible. So you can use uh, this stencil and be able to use them with the, the decoupage paper that has like different textures on it to be able to create something like super cool. Um, and those were all the samples that I did last night. We'll do other projects with the other ones um, together because that's going to be a little bit different than what I've done here with these. Let me gather myself for just a minute. I'm telling y'all, I have all kinds of stuff out here. Yes, exactly, exactly. Somebody said you can picture the pail with a long board with the tree from the... Um, the paint inlay from ILD, right? You could even use the tree in the urn. You could put it in the bushel, you could put it in the urn. Um, either one would work beautifully. I'm just trying to make sure all my boards don't have anything in them, you guys, so that we can, cause we're gonna stencil together really quickly, just so you guys can see just what the stencil looks like. And if you guys have any question, um, yeah, Tammy, actually yours, and I will send you guys shipping because we did manual orders. I had to, I was only able to put a private note on the orders. Um, but um, yes, Tammy, yours are on the way. And so I'm going to set these yummy bits aside because I'm going to be using these for projects um, in the near future. But let's stencil together just so you guys can see how the stencils like perform. And I think I'm gonna use Posh Chalk because it's thicker and it's gonna make my life easier. And I'm gonna drink some tea, you guys, just. The urn could be turned upside down, absolutely. It could be turned upside down. I mean, it's only, it's just, I mean, you guys could do whatever you wanna do, like honestly. And that's the beauty of making these tools and projects, you guys is because I know what happens. It goes out into the world and you guys add your secret sauce and magic happens. So this is how I make my stencil brushes, y'all. This is an O, um, this is an R18. It's like a small round brush. Um, this is one of my Klingon brushes. So I'm just gonna tape it. And what the tape does, you can use tape or rubber bands. It just tightens, um, the bristles so that you get a nice, it, I mean, it essentially makes it into a stencil brush, right? So now I have a larger stencil brush. Um, let's see, Christy's asking, what type of paper did you use? Christy, I used recycled decoupage papers with, th 